I had to throw on my hoop earrings with my crazy hair right now because this is what people think a New Yorican looks like, okay? Just a little bit darker, all right? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't even explain how excited I am to be filming. I've been looking forward to it all freaking day because I have not filmed a video in like two weeks, like since before I left to Los Angeles for my birthday and I am like, I miss it. I miss you guys. I miss talking to you guys, you know? So today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different, but still the same, but different, but kind of the same. I've talked a lot on my channel about being a Puerto Rican and a little bit about being a Puerto Rican in New York, but I really wanted to focus this video on the New Yorican, okay? Because we get a lot of flack sometimes, let me tell you, about not being Puerto Rican enough, but then claiming that we're more Puerto Rican than we actually are, and I am gonna shut it down. I, for one, when I meet somebody, I tell them that I'm Puerto Rican. Like, I'm not saying this, I'm American, I'm not saying this, I'm from New York. No, they say I'm Puerto Rican, because I know that that's what they mean majority of the time. You'll have to excuse my voice, I'm a, <clears throat> a little bit like raspy. And I don't know why. But at the same time, I also have to acknowledge and embrace the fact that we are different. I mean, the culture, the way of living in a sense is different when you do it here in New York versus Puerto Rico. So for today's video, I decided to bring up some things that have to do with being a New Yorican, a Puerto Rican in New York, a New Yorker of Puerto Rican descent. For those of you who didn't know. But before anything, please remember to follow me on the rest of my social media accounts. That's Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and now Facebook. I am working on my Facebook. I've got some stuff in the works, so I'm very excited for that. But make sure that you go check out and like my page in the meantime. And of course, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up as well as comment down below if you want to see more content like this, what kind of content you do want to see, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. So starting off first, I want to debunk this myth, okay? This, this little conspiracy, this little lie, this little rumor going around that we're mean. We are not mean, okay? We, we are not, we are not mean, okay? New Yorkers are not all mean. You know, Latinos are not all mean. New Yorkans are not mean. Like people really think that because we have both sides, like we have the nastiness of a New Yorker and the spiciness of being Latino and mixed together we're like a freaking ticking time bomb. I swear, we're not, okay? We just don't play that shit. Rule number one, don't quit us. We'll leave it at that. I think I mentioned it in past videos, pretty sure I have. And lots of people that are actually from Puerto Rico tell me that this isn't a big thing on the island, but more so outside of the island. And here, it is definitely a staple. It is definitely mandatory to have a flag somewhere in your house or multiple flags in your house, in which case I have multiple flags in my crib for no real reason. You see, during parties we bring it out, we be saying prayers to the flag, like you know, it's serious. You can't disrespect someone's flag in the house. You'll see them um, hanging out of the windows, like it's no joke. People have flag towels, flag carpet, flag rugs, you know, like the freaking, the, the, the bath mat to step out and be a flag, like everything. We be like, putting the flag toilet seat, like we will put the flag anywhere, okay? Even if that means you're sitting on it to take a shit. It's just gotta be everywhere. Like anywhere you could put the flag, you're gonna put it, right? Am I wrong? I'm, I'm not the only one, right? One thing I absolutely love about being New Yorican or a Puerto Rican in New York is the 116th Street Festival. Oh, to me, this is 10 times better than the parade, which I'll talk about in a second, very briefly, because I don't really go to the parade. Like, I I know I've probably disappointed a few people. You would probably think that I would be wrapped up in the entire flag like a curtain at the parade, but I swear, I'm not. 
I just do it at the festival. The festival is so much fun because there's music, there's food, there's dancing, there's it's literally a street festival and it's just all these little booths, you know, just knickknacks that you can buy, souvenirs that you can buy. It is so much fun and there are usually like two or three stages and some celebrities sometimes come. I know last year Osuna and Bad Bunny were there and the places get like the stages they get packed like you can't necessarily stand there and expect to leave and come back and find your spot like not happening i truly love the festival mainly because you can walk the whole thing it, it starts at about like 106th street and goes all the way up to about 119th street or so and there's just much more to do i feel at the festival with the parade which is the next great thing about being a puerto rican in new york is it's the it's literally like the biggest culture parade on fifth avenue i guess maybe Maybe like St. Patty's Day is big too, or Columbus Day or whatever. But like Latino wise, definitely the Puerto Rican Day Parade is the staple. It goes like 40 blocks or something like that. But my problem with the parade is that unless you're on a float or unless you're walking the whole thing, you're literally just standing in one spot. And again, it's that instance where if you leave, you can't necessarily come back. And everything just happens so quick. like. All the floats go by so quick and then that's it. Like I remember I saw J-Lo and Mark Anthony, R.I.P, when they were together. I saw them on a car, like float thingy, and that was it. Like I looked at them and then by the time I went down to grab my phone so that I could take a picture, they were gone. Like that's not cool. But you have your die-hard New Yorkans, people that come from out of New York, out of the state, to come and be a part of the Puerto Rican Day Parade. It is such a huge deal. Let's see. Let's see if I try to go this year, just so I can vlog it for those of you who have never been or have always wanted to go. You know, I for years never went to the parade, even though I was grow, you know, born and raised in New York. And my parents, you know, I think they brought me a couple times when I was younger, but I've never like. I had never been and so when I was older I took it upon myself to actually go and enjoy the parade a couple of times but at the end of the day I can definitely say that I much more enjoy the 116 the, the 116 street festival that was a hard one and of course probably my favorite thing of being a New Yorkan is the Spanglish like I mean come on Every word, every sentence is, is a different language and it's beautiful, you know, like cogelo con te easy. Or another one that people love to use is pero like. When you say pero like, it's but like. Pero like he was mad at me for the whole day and then he wasn't talking to me, I was texting him and calling him, he wasn't picking up his phone. Pero like, what, what's up with him? What's up with him, nena? Ay, nena. Pero you're acting como una loca. What's wrong with you? You see? And we don't always like do the neck roll, you know. Sometimes it me sale, like, I am talking and if I get passionate about something, then I'm gonna start to roll my neck and I can't control it, like, I just, I just can't stop. That's pretty much it guys for this video. Just wanted to chat a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that about being a New Yorkan. If you guys want to learn more about the New Yorkan culture, the Puerto Rican in New York culture, then let me know. If you are a New Yorkan, of course, leave. Let's see, what emoji should we leave? Leave me a building emoji and the flag. So that way I know you're in the city, but you're Boricua, you know what I'm saying? Again, that's it guys. If you want to see more like this, please give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I am out of here.